Where is the princess from Jung Country sent for the marriage alliance? Even if I have to search every cell, I will find you. It was my incompetence. Fearing an attack from the Zhou country's army, that made you travel the long distance to a foreign land. I've heard that Zhou is wealthy and strong, and the man I'm to marry is the future ruler. You really shouldn't worry. Father, he was untrustworthy. You mistakenly trusted them. <laughs> Greetings, Chief Eunuch. The Directorate of the Protocol is handling this case. This woman, I'm taking her with me. She is from Jang. The Crown Prince said, With the two nations at war, spies might infiltrate. If you take her, that might be inappropriate. Since when does the Ministry of Justice dare to question the Directorate of the Protocol? I dare not. Water. Princess, your meal is ready. It's time to go back. You saved me three years ago. Now we meet again. But you are covered in wounds. This time, it's my turn to protect you. Can you?
Chen Yu, my father sent a letter. Come near. I didn't expect that. Our chief eunuch has a hidden beauty. We grew up together. And you didn't tell me? Don't talk nonsense. She's just a maid of mine. She was startled today. Your Highness, is there something you need? My father sent a letter. It says Zhang has been defeated. Soon, he will return to the capital with the Prince North. I was wondering, should I tell my father? about the missing Zhang princess? Huh? Should I tell my father about the missing Zhang princess? With His Majesty's recent victory over Jiang, he'll surely be in high spirits. Just a princess from Zhang. If she's lost, she's lost. No one will really care. Using a false marriage alliance to take down Zhang truly shames our Zhou. Since our ancestors, when have we ever done such despicable things? Lower your voice. Walls have ears. Father, who is beyond the pale? One day, I will kill that freaking emperor and avenge you all. Before that, my true identity must not be discovered. Sir, the two officials who privately took bribes are all here. I don't have time to waste with you two. This crime, will you confess? Or not? Mr. Pei, we are from the Ministry of Justice after all. You have no right to interrogate us privately. Exactly. Whether we're guilty should be determined by the Ministry of Justice. You think just because His Majesty is away, you can do whatever you want? I'm used to having my way. If you two have any complaints, feel free to report me to the Crown Prince. Of course. That's if you two can leave alive. We confess. We confess. Please, Mr. Pei, spare our lives. Yeah. Please spare our lives, Mr. Pei.
He managed to rescue me from the prison. His status must be extraordinary. Perhaps. I should start with him. You're awake. Are you hungry? <laughs> I am Pei Tian Yu, just a mere palace guard. Those from Zhang Nation who were imprisoned have all been assigned to various officials' households as servants. Miss, you were assigned to me. I don't need servants. Once you've recovered, I'll send you home. I have no home. I'm just a beggar. I was mistakenly captured by the officers yesterday. Aren't you from Zhang? I can send you home. My name is Li. Sir, you saved me yesterday. I have nothing to repay you with. I wish to offer myself in marriage to you. Please let me stay in your mansion. Sir, please let me stay. I don't want to be a beggar anymore. I have nowhere to go. Sir, your mansion is so big. Please keep me. I will work diligently to repay you. Sir? I beg you to let me stay. Only by staying will I have a chance to seek revenge. Marrying him not only covers my identity, but also provides a place to stay. Besides, he seems to be a decent man. Years ago, Jiang sent a group of people to Zhou. They settled there, established the Buddha Pavilion, and secretly trained spies to pass messages for our Jiang. But five years ago, the messages suddenly stopped for unknown reasons. If you have time, take this jade pendant, go find the pavilion master. If she's still there, she will definitely help you. Buddha Pavilion. Lee, where are you going? I... my body hasn't recovered yet. I need to buy some medicine. But... without the Master's permission, you cannot leave the mansion. Don't worry about the medicine. Just wait a moment, okay? What are you up to? You'll see in a moment. Huh? What are all these? Ginseng, Angelica, Deer Antler, Polygonum Multiflorum, Cordyceps and Ganoderma. Where did all these come from? These are the herbs the master prepared for you. All of these are for me? Oh. Yes. Lee, you are really lucky. 
I've been here over a year, and the master has never favored me like this. You've just arrived, and the master is so kind to you. It must be the good karma from your past life. I'd rather you had that. All I want now is freedom. That lets me leave the mansion. I think the master is quite reasonable. Why not ask him? He might just let you go. Hmm? All right, I will order. I will graciously ask him. Here comes the medicine. After drinking this, tonight might be tough. Godfather swapped you back then, and didn't castrate you to preserve a lineage for the Pei family. Before he passed away, he instructed me to protect you at all costs. You must take this medicine on time to keep your disguise secret as a fake eunuch. I understand. This medicine is harmful. If it acts up, it might be hard to endure. You should go back for today, sir. Mr. Pei, Mr. Pei. Mr. Pei, what are you doing here? What happened to you? Cold, cold. But it's midsummer. So cold. Looks like you're having a chill. Being this cold must be so painful. I'll go get you a blanket. Don't leave. You... Don't make noise. Stay quiet with me. If not for that being your wife, is the best disguise I could think of. I wouldn't care about you. You do look good.
Lee, you shouldn't have stayed. What happened? I am incompetent. The 25 people we wanted to place in the government all were rejected by the chief eunuch. This Pei Chenyu is really becoming more and more dismissive of me. <laughs> Your Highness, these official positions were sold and half of the silver hasn't been collected yet. If... If His Majesty returns and finds the treasury not replenished, it'd be troublesome. I beg for your forgiveness! Get out! I got it. You can go back now. Tomorrow I'll personally visit the Directorate of Protocol. To meet this Pei Chanyu, Get up. Let's pretend last night never happened. I only took care of you because you caught a chill. Why are you like this? So heartless. Stay away from me from now on. Uh, no. May I go out for a walk? Whatever. So fierce. Forget it. I don't care about him. I need to find an opportunity to reach the Buddha Pavilion. Sir, our people have already followed Miss Lee. Protect her secretly. Where she goes. Who she meets. What she does. Report to me at any time. Yes. Master, there's a young lady outside looking for you. <laughs> it seems my Buddha pavilion really has fallen on hard times. That just anyone comes. Must be reported to me. Master, I dare not disturb you. But she brought a jade pendant, said she's an old acquaintance of yours. And you'll know once you see it. Bring her in. Yes. You going to spy on Zoe? Must always remember your mission. While the mission is important, your lives are more valuable. I don't insist that you must send messages, only that you return safely. Don't forget your homeland and loved ones. The path you're taking is very dangerous. 
I'm not afraid of danger. Now that Zhang is a subordinate to Zhou, your identity must be kept secret. If it leaks, I understand. I'm at the Buddha Pavilion every day. You can visit whenever you have time. My Buddha Pavilion doesn't rely on martial skills. Then what does it rely on? You'll find out in time. By the way, your priority is to find a cover identity to facilitate your actions. Do you know anyone in Joe? Whatever. Actually, there is someone suitable. Father, mother, I have found evidence about the past. In my lifetime, I will definitely let His Majesty clear our Pei family's name. Wearing this, it's definitely going to work. Mr. Pei? Mr. Pei? Lee? Mr. Pei? It's me. What are you doing here? I... Mr. Pei... I was just afraid. Afraid of what? Seeing you fully submerged in water. Just in case. Oh, then I'll be leaving. <laughs> You said you would offer yourself before. Seems that was just an excuse to stay here. I do want to stay by your side. Do whatever you want, sir. <sighs> Lee. I don't need a woman. You should leave. The capital is no ordinary place. It's extremely dangerous here. You should go. I will ensure your safety. I want to stay in the capital. How is the preparation going? The documents were sent out a few days ago. I assume they won't just let it go. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> By the way, Miss Lee went to the Buddha Pavilion. Buddha Pavilion? As far as I know, the Pavilion Master, Ji Qingcheng, though she's from Zhang Country, she has always worked for the Crown Prince. Keep a close eye on her. Every move she makes, report to me at any time. Yes.
I know you are here for revenge. But this path is not easy. I'm already deeply mired. I hope you don't end up the same. Pei Tianyu, you've got some nerve. What brings your highness to my place today? <laughs> Pei Tianyu, don't play dumb with me. You rejected all the people I arranged. What do you mean by that? Nothing much. Just thought they weren't capable enough. If your highness is dissatisfied with my arrangements, feel free to complain to his majesty. You think I wouldn't dare? Please feel free. Pei Chen Yu, just you wait. Your dance skills really are getting better. If your highness really cares about me, why not give me the antidote to strychnine? Stay at the Buddha Pavilion and work for me. The antidote will naturally be given to you. Buddha Pavilion is a mere assassin organization, and I am merely your killing tool. You naturally don't care about me. This strychnine is extremely poisonous. No cure. You can only use monthly medicine to delay the onset. You were originally a spy, sent to Zhou from Zhang. When I discovered you five years ago, you should have been killed. But I kept you because you were useful. Had to poison you with strychnine. Now that Zhang has submitted to Zhou, don't even think about going back. Stay and serve me well. I know what to do. It's just that this strychnine is too toxic. I need some time to recuperate. To serve you better. I can't wait too long for you. Here you go. Inside is Chief Eunuch Pei Kenyu. Are these to kill or to keep? Of course, to kill. <laughs> 